morning. Look at that building. Oh, you can't see it. It's in there. This morning I'm coming up here. We are meeting a guy about some lights for the shop. Hey, I think I got this thing turned on. Got the fancy camera, folks. Brian left it laying at the construction site, so I figured I'd save you guys from a trash compactor or scrap heap or something. He might have ended up in the bottom of the concrete. I don't know. Anyway, I'll return you to him shortly. So after meeting with the electrician and whatnot, one of the things we're doing today, putting on some fungicide. So dad is over here, getting ready to load up the sprayer. He's gonna go put some fungicide on some bean ground. We've also got a plane in the area putting some fungicide on some corn for us. Dad's gonna be applying some Travel Pro on our bean ground, and then we have Mervis Neo going on corn ground. So Dad's doing the beans, like I said, we got a plane doing the corn ground. Now we've done corn with our sprayer multiple times. It's worked fine, uh, but it really becomes a timing issue and sometimes we run out of time. So that's why we've got the plane in the area doing it. Right now it's very hot, very humid. Uh, there's been enough rain to keep a dense fog bank over here every day. It's really prime conditions for disease. So that's why we're applying some fungicides. Dad's over here getting the quick draw him the handler put his recipe in for that and then we'll start filling up the sprayer i can't remember what the rate is for travel pro but uh, i don't think it's very high so along with fungicide we're also putting in a product to take care of some volunteer corn we got cropping up just to clean up the field make it look nice that volunteer corn ain't gonna do much but it is a little bit of moisture and nutrients out of the ground or anything it's just a nice source. So we got all of our chem in, all of our fungicides, so now we can speed up the pump. Really pour in the water. That's 200 gallons a minute. We should get up to about 220 to 250 I think. Oh yeah, that's how much rain or how much water we've got total. We're shooting for 11.75. Then he'll be on his way. Now while dad is on this fungicide, let's see if we can go find the plane. One of the things we're looking for in beans is frog guy. Let's see if we can find some. Um, frog guy comes in, it can be pretty devastating. It's little lesions that ends up on the plant, little circles, and if not controlled, it can get pretty, pretty costly. Now, one other benefit about fungicides is it'll help increase the plant health overall, which even in a drought has its benefits. It will make that crop able to breathe and take up moisture. It's a good thing. So, I like doing this kind of stuff. I like putting on fungicide and putting on fertilizer. It feels like you're just feeding that crop, doing everything you can to make it a successful harvest. Okay, here we are today, uh, Monday. We're going to spray some uh, beans with some uh, fungicide. So we got up road about three, four mile here. And, uh, loaded up. Well, it's kind of clouded up a little bit like the rain, but I doubt so. I thought I'll take a chance about having an hour on this dry. But I'll take a chance if I don't make it rain, why I'll spray it. We definitely need rain. This is our corn right through here, you can see. And it's just up and down, so uneven. We've uh, plane has sprayed some fungicide on some of the bottoms, and I think they're spraying some today, maybe. But it's, it isn't all ready. Some of it's ready, part of the field ready, part of the day, so. I don't know, one of them years. We'll get unfolded here and get going. Ain't dry, sir. But, gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know, a drone would be nice, but we don't have a drone yet. Maybe, maybe next year we'll plan on. That lake get one now. We've got some building going on over there. Got two men on it so far, takes some money, so drones ain't real cheap. Several amounts here. And every year they get a little bigger, so but next year they ought to have a that one company's coming out with a bigger one. So I don't think they've sprayed the corn yet. They might have. It's about ready to, I think. They might spray it as late as we can because it's pretty clean. Seeds will come later on. A tar spot hasn't been down here yet, but it comes late, I guess. So that'll uh, later we can spray it's better, I think. This is one of the first planted bean fields and we didn't have to go very far but 
Well, that's not that's not fro guy. That is kind of similar to what it looks like though, just a little dot. That one's, I don't think that's fro guy. Oh, here we go. I don't think I've seen any yet, but there is a little bit of disease out here. And getting this fungicide on it will help keep these plants quite a bit healthier. Won't do anything for sprayer tracks though. But dad will be in the same sprayer tracks. It's one thing about spraying, a lot of manual steering. So dad will be steering through all this. He could use GPS if he wanted to, but uh, when you already have your spray tracks in the field, you don't want to make any more. So he typically steers. Try to find my old tracks and I'll have to drive and probably run in there. Cut the outer boom off. I don't kill a corn. You can see, I think you can see that should show up in there. The corn up through there. Quite a bit. Ears, use them to ears. Fly off the head. Then we run the accelerator over so that worked it. Made an ideal seed bed so it's all over here. This will take care of it. This is, if you can see it there, I think it'll show up. That's a real gravelly spot through there, seven or eight acres, hardly. A lot of years don't want to raise much. Look at that buck going through there. He's pretty nice, pretty nice buck. But this right here don't great grow much in a dry year, and it's not gonna grow much this year. Usually this corn don't mount to anything. You won't get here on maybe a small one. But uh, it, it just uh, it is taking moisture from beans, so it's uh, Best to get sprayed. They say should have sprayed my uh, didn't post spray and should have stuff into it. Didn't. Plus some of it wasn't very big then. I don't know. Probably still under the leaves. So we'll get it now and then we'll quit robbing the beans of any uh, moisture. So now dad's spray, let's go see if we can find an airplane and we'll show you guys how the corn fungicide's getting applied. So the corn fungicide, that's the Mervis Neo, the Trav Pros, what dad's put on the bean ground. I think it's pretty cool watching them crop dust. And some people get a little worried because they're so close to the ground or they think they're over spraying, but in all honesty, it's an extremely controlled application. Uh, very safe. I think those pilots are crazy. I think they're adrenaline junkies or something. I don't know. It is pretty gnarly to watch. goes <laughs> was that pretty cool what the heck is that well i know I told what you. Else. i know what it is but why is it so low i told you it's right over the house why is it so low he's crop dusting wow he's pretty cool wasn't it up there in that field and uh, I guess all we're going to do is when there's severe thunderstorm warnings out at 10 o'clock so I don't know where they're coming from but popping up maybe so don't wash it off so I'll just wait tomorrow one more tank and I'll do what I'm going to do so wait till tomorrow see what tomorrow brings 